Hey guys, this is Donna. Today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed and reprints. Uh, Assassin's Creed obviously is a new set that is coming out. I'm going to do another video on if I think you should even bother picking up Assassin's Creed because this could potentially be one of the most money hungry things that uh, Wizards of the Coast has done so far, which is pretty upsetting because I was kind of looking forward to it, but having a look at the prices of it, it's just bonkers. All right, but we're going to talk about the reprints first because there is some crazy great reprints in here, but that doesn't mean that you should go, you know, rushing out to buy the set or anything like that. Instead, you should be looking at singles and looking at the singles that are reprinted here that are going to end up crashing because, you know, they're getting reprints. So it's very likely that they end up crashing as well down in the future. All right. So, uh, as I said, 28 new reprints and stuff, so let's get into them. The first one here is Cover of Darkness. This is a card that hasn't been reprinted since Onslaught, and honestly, I think that this is probably my favorite reprint of the set. Uh, it's going to give a chosen type fear. Uh, you know, black, you could do so many different things with this, whether it's going to be, you know, give all your rats fear, whether it's give all your bats fear, whether it's, you know, give all your slivers fear, whatever you want to give fear. Giving fear is really great, in my opinion. It's going to make it so that they are unblockable a lot of the time. Artifact creatures and black creatures can block them, but most of the time, they're going to be able to bypass that. Lots of great ways you can abuse this, whether it's going to be, you know, allowing your creatures to be able to get past enemies because they're just running, you know, mono blue or whatever, or, you know, being able to just essentially get in those really, really essential hits whenever you're running like a mostly tribal based deck. You obviously want a mostly kind of tribal based deck for this to work great. The next one here is going to be the, uh, these are the Modern Horizons one lands. So these are going for a decent value at the moment. I'm, some of them, you know, have been reprinted recently. Some of them haven't been reprinted in you know, quite a while. Uh, I assume that these are just within the boosters, like the, the collector boosters, I think, but I may be wrong about that. Um, but either way, you know, nice kind of reprints there uh, for these. Someone let me know down in the comments, are these only in the collector boosters or not? Because the fact that they're full arts and stuff, I I'm not entirely sure. They may be in the base ones. These essentially form a big panorama with the uh, Ezio card. Um, but Overall, kind of nice reprints here too. Uh, you know, as I said, like some of them haven't been reprinted in a while. So, uh, which one was it? Like the Nurturing Peatland, uh, Silent Clearing, and haven't been reprinted in a while. These two here. The other three have been within the Doctor Who set. We've got Conspiracy. Not a super duper expensive card, but you know, one that hasn't been around for a bit. Uh, the list had it and time spiral time shifted before that, uh, but still a decent kind of reprint here that you can use for lots of kind of different shenanigans. Kind of like a mask with Nexus, but it's going to turn all creatures into one type, not make them in additional other types. All right, next up, we've got the Temporal Trespass. So this hasn't been reprinted since Fate Reforge, a $20 card, a decent card in my opinion. Uh, you know, you delve stuff and then you get to take an extra turn after it. If you've got, you know, ways to be able to copy and stuff, this is going to be worthwhile. Ways to basically be able to kind of bypass this exile part of it. If you imprint it onto something, uh, then you could do some really kind of nice shenanigans with this and take, you know, some nice turns with it um you know it, it's got delve there so you can delve away cards in your graveyard to be able to make it cheaper and stuff uh as i said it hasn't been reprinted since fate reforge a very very nice reprint we've got black market connections which is probably my favorite reprint here uh it hasn't been reprinted since like what what was it originally like boulders gate um Boulders Gate, I guess, was the original kind of reprint from it. Was it only within the pre-con set? No, there was an actual version of it as well. Uh, but, you know, uh, I think that, 
yeah, a, a borderless version and stuff. But either way, you know, this has been within pre-cons and stuff, but it hasn't actually been printed in an actual set for a bit. So it's nice to go to see this printed in an actual set. Um, I, you know, I'm very excited about it. I think that this is probably the card that I'm most looking forward to picking up as a reprint here. And I'm hoping that it kind of crashes down a bit from people buying this and, uh, you know, them kind of going out on the field. We've got Reconnaissance here, uh, last reprinted in Exodus, some secret lair drops since then, but last printed in Exodus. Uh, this was recently used within a combo, but I can't remember exactly which combo it was. But either way, it's a nice way for you to be able to, you know, untap your creatures and stuff. Uh, you know, if you do it after combat damage, then it's nice. You know, it's even got the reminder text here. If you activate it during the end of combat, the creature will untap after it deals combat damage. So technically, you know, you could deal that combat damage and then untap all your creatures with it, kind of giving a pseudo vigilance to your creatures. And it costs zero as well. So you can just spam this on all your creatures and stuff. Lots of really great ways you can potentially kind of make use of this. It's a very, very nice card and nice to see it reprinted. We've got propaganda now. You know, propaganda has crashed a bit. Uh, you know, it, it's been reprinted within three pre-cons recently, four pre-cons, uh, no, three pre-cons. We got the Modern Horizons 3 version of it, the Outlaws uh, Junction version of it, and then the Doctor Who version of it as well. So, you know, getting a fair few reprints there, but only within a pre-con. So it's nice to see it outside of a pre-con, uh, as well as, you know, it's just, I love this flavor text. It's obviously some of my favorite flavor text of all time because of the kind of, because of the implications. Uh, I actually love it. Next, we've got the Coastal Piracy here. Not an insanely kind of great prince. Uh, like, you know, uh, what is it? Reconnaissance Mission. I think it is Reconnaissance Mission here. Is a very, you know, similar card. And just has the extra bonus of it, uh, of, you know, being able to also cycle it, but you know, it, it's a very flavorful card and I am very excited for this for my, for my pirate deck, uh, like my Don Andreas deck. And then for my upcoming Edward Kenway deck too, we've got fatal push here, not an insanely, insanely kind of, uh, valuable card, but still a decent kind of one. Um, very kind of, you know, nice, flavorful card, uh, as well as, you know, has an, it's about, you know, what, $3, 263 there. Not a bad kind of card to kind of see reprinted, and I'm pretty excited for this one too. We've got Assassin's Trophy, which is probably the one that is really, really great here. Now, yeah, you know, similar, similar to what we talked about before. It has kind of gone down a lot recently, especially after it kind of got reprinted in Murders at Carl of Manor. It's still a nice, you know, priced card. It's still a really strong and decent card in my opinion, but it has kind of crashed down a little bit. Mostly, as I said, because of the fact that it just kind of got reprinted not that long ago. So it's nice to kind of see another reprint too here. But kind of the, the stellar big ones here, uh, both the swords. So Sword of Feast and Famine, they announced. And the art of this, both arts of it is... I love it. I, I love it. The art is really great. Uh, you know, it hasn't been reprinted since, what, this little list version of it. Or Double Masters there. Um you know, back from uh, Kaladesh Inventions, there's a version of it there, which, yeah, there you go. Um, you know, it hasn't been printed in a while and is a very valuable card, as well as a decently kind of strong card, right? Like, there, there's all, always more kind of commanders that can kind of make use of this, like the... Um, what was it, that recent one, Felix Five Boots, could make use of this kind of thing where it triggers off of the dealing combat damage. And then we've also got Sword of Light and Shadow. Not quite as valuable, but still a kind of decent card, right? Uh, you gain three life and you may return up to one tr uh, target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So if you've got, you know, a mill deck, then it's going to be decent in that, as well as them giving kind of protection there is nice. Uh, what most valuable ones like 1965 or 1959 there from down in Dark Steel. Um, 
you know, some decent value on that. So overall, you know, there's some just really, really nice prints on this. I'm going to talk in another video about whether I think the set is kind of worth picking up at all, uh, but that's kind of a, a different thing. But either way, you know, out of the 28 kind of reprints they put in here, there's a lot of nice options there. So, you know, let me know what you guys think. Have a great day and goodbye.